Hi guys, Mike Newton back down here at Lytham Golf Academy. We're just going to do a little head-to-head -head here between two, two fairly new irons to the market from Ping. Okay, so we've got the i200 which has just been launched against the Ping i Blade which was launched a few months back. So some of you guys have been asking on comments on my other videos. I've done a, I've done a review of the i200 which I'll put a link up, you can go and check that out. I've also done a review of the i Blade. Um, so maybe some some of you guys are looking at this sort of area of iron. You know, do I go into the real sort of bladey sort of looking golf club? Obviously, you know, it's slightly less forgiving, but the looks are obviously more attractive in a way. Or do I go into the i two hundred, which still provides quite a nice, slim, neat look, but you've just got that little bit more forgiveness with the with the undercut and a little bit more technology behind the actual head to increase ball speed. So you've got to sort of weigh this up really, which is going to be best um, in terms of look, which I think is important, but at the same time, what's what's performing best for you and what's maybe giving you that little bit of extra help on days when you're not quite hitting the middle of the golf club. You've sort of got to weigh all these little things into the equation when you're maybe looking and testing these sort of golf clubs. So I'm going to put these two head to head. These are two, both blue dot lie. I'm going to keep them both in the same shaft, which is the Modus 105 in a stiff. So the, the, the test is going to be pretty similar here and we're just going to have a little look at what the difference are on launch, spin, possibly ball speed and also uh, carry distance. Okay, so we're going to start with the Ping Eye Blade first. So we're going to hit batch of shots with this one. I'll say this is the small, smaller compact head as you sit it behind the golf ball but does look very nice. Yeah, nice solid strike to start with. Yeah. I do like this iron, it's a very good looking iron, it does feel very nice, it's got that elastomer sort of insert in the bottom of the golf, uh, sorry, the back of the club there, which it does have in the i200 as well, um, so it does give that very nice sort of feel and a beautiful look, it's a very nice new finish on the on the eye blades here, so I'm just going to hit one more shot and then we'll flick over to the i200. Definitely a very pretty, pretty looking golf club this one. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. Feels really good. It'd be interesting to see what the numbers are like with the I I two hundred here. Okay, so we'll flick we'll flick over to the I two hundred, we'll hit a batch up with that and then we'll uh, we'll delve into some numbers. So just before we hit some with the I two hundred, maybe just want you to give you a little close up of the two heads together. Please do ignore these bolts here because these are our fitting irons for when we're doing fits. Um, but you can see really the sort of the backs of the club. The finish is exactly the same on both clubs here. That very nice sort of smooth satin sort of finish on it, which I think looks really stunning and definitely becoming a more prettier golf club that Ping are producing now. You can see just in the back here, this little strip there and there is this elastomer insert that they put which helps a lot with the sound and the feel of the club. Obviously the i200 the saying is 30% uh, thinner on the club face so we're looking at more ball speed so it'll be interesting to have a look at that and to see if we're actually seeing that against uh, the numbers of the eye blade. Okay so here's the all important playing position that we all sort of really look at. Eye blade is on the left, the i200 is on the right so you're probably just seeing that slightly low, uh, smaller profile of the of the eye blade there against the uh, 200 maybe oh, it's not a lot in just a fraction thicker on that top edge of the i200 but i think as you probably agree both very good looking irons so we've got the i200 in our hands now so i've just flicked the shaft over so we've got the same shaft here that we've tried in the i blade uh, so we're going to hit some with the the i200 definitely as i'm sitting that down by the golf ball there just seeing that slightly larger profile you'll have just seen that as i put them side by side in the plane position just looks a little bit sort of a little bit longer from that heel to toe in the in the uh, sort of length of the blade. Definitely just a touch thick on that top side, but still I would say class is a very pretty looking golf club. So 
I think for the guy who wants the looks, but possibly that little bit more forgiveness, this is what the i200 is really designed to do. And I think that is what it's producing as well. So let's have a look at some numbers. Let's hit a few shots. Ooh, just a little bit pulley that one, but felt good. Sounded a little bit different. It felt a little bit more powerful. Hasn't really shown that in the distance there. 173 carry. Okay, so. Yeah, a little bit pushy that one. It's a bit like army golf, this left, right. Okay, yeah, I dropped off, didn't quite strike that one as good. It still it felt pretty good, to be honest. It didn't feel like I really missed that. So possibly that little bit of forgiveness is just kicking in there. Let's try and put a better string on this one. Yeah, I'll straight to golf shot there. That's good. Okay, I'm just going to hit one more with this one. Yeah, feels like, to be honest, they both feel really good. I, I like the sound, the making, I like the look of them. And they both, uh, they both look, feel really nice. So let's have a look at some numbers. Okay, let's have a look at some numbers then. So, um, I didn't have my HMT stickers on the i200 iron, so forget this number here. This is just an estimated number. Uh, ball speed is the accurate one here. So, I've just picked up a little bit more ball speed with the i200. Now, these are both 7 irons. The i200 loft is 33 degrees, and the i blade is 34 degrees. So, one degree more loft on the i blade than the i200. So, this is possibly why this ball speed is just picking up a little bit more um, than, the, than the eye blade because of the loft. Launch, having said that, is, is exactly the same on average there. Okay, Spin is up a little bit with the i200 at uh, by about 600 revs. Again, strike can just play that a little bit. First one was a little bit of a spinnier one. Uh, then we're looking at carry distance, so 173 against 171. Okay, so I probably struck that eye blade a little bit better there. Um, definitely the dispersion was a little bit tighter there. If we just flip the screen over, let's have a look at the dispersion there. You see the white ring was the eye blade, the red was the I200. So interesting that really. Maybe possibly, you know, maybe that smaller head just, just made me focus a little bit more and trying to hit middle and it was a little bit more accurate with it. Having said that, the, the I200, when I missed the middle, it felt still pretty good. So. It's one of those, you've got to sort of decide really what's best for you when you go out and test them, whether it's that look or that forgiveness or a little bit of blend of both. Okay guys, so there we have it. The Ping Eye Blade against the Eye 202. In my opinion, really good looking irons. I think they're going to be very, very popular and I would say the Eye 200 is probably going to be more popular because it does tick a lot more boxes for, I would say, a lot of golfers. What I find with customers coming in for fittings, you know they want that bladey look you know that is the very desirable look whether they're good enough to play with that iron is is probably the answer to that is probably no which is then where the i200 sits in because you get that little bit of that blade or that eye blade look the eye blade finish but you've got that back up behind it with that cavity to help out on those miss hits okay i probably struck the eye blade a little bit better there to be fair which is why those numbers were slightly better or not a, a massive amount of difference between them. Um, but maybe on future tests, I possibly could hit the I200 slightly better, and that may just edge it a little bit more in terms of distance. Distance, is that everything? For me, no, I, I don't need more distance, but a lot of golfers out there do need that distance. So possibly that 30% thinner face on the I200 might just come in and, 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 and sort of produce those better distance numbers for you. But at the end of the day, guys, this really comes down to the importance of getting these head to head for you yourself. You know, at a facility like here, get yourselves in. We've got launch monitor, we've got GC2, HMT, we've got video analysis, we've got all the shaft options, head options. We've got to test these together against your current set, you know, to really sort of fine pick these numbers as to why that is better performing. 
um, and possibly not just on your best hits but look at it as an average because we all miss the middle now and again and it's finding one that suits you in terms of look, feel, obviously numbers of just explained there on the GC2. So hopefully you enjoyed that video, just a little insight um, between those two irons and possibly give you an idea of an iron you might want to go out and try yourself. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do share it around with your friends. Please subscribe. I'll put a link up here somewhere for you can hit that su subscribe button. Then you get notified for any future videos, which would be great. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.